We can use methods that probably your grandparents understood that would heal you usually in two, three days. And um, it's very simple. For example, when our kids would have chicken pox, I would put them in a bath at night with a little bit of sea salt, half a cup of sea salt, and half a pound of baking soda. Baking soda really uh, helps with the pain, the wounds that they have from chicken pox and measles. And then you can save a little bit of baking soda and put that powder on their wounds too. Then when it comes to flus, um, which you work internally, we use things like um, silver. And silver you can take through the nostril, you can work with your sinuses, you can work in the mouth with silver, and um, you can work with cemento. Cemento is a great immunobooster and you give, it's in liquid, so it's very easy. You can put it into a drink for the kids or you can put it right in their mouth, just a few drops. So colloidal silver is the original antibiotic. It was long before the pharmaceutic made antibiotic. And uh, you know, antibiotic is so overused that a lot of times it doesn't do a good job for you anymore. So silver, you can buy in any health food store and it's colloidal silver, you buy it um, in liquid and it's easy to take. You take either spray or, or a, lick, um, a dropper and um, your kids, it, it tastes okay, it tastes like water. You will not have a problem with your kids taking that. Other infections like mumps and ear infection. First of all, remember that gluten products and dairy products need to be eliminated. If your kid has ear infection, that's the first thing you get rid of because it's just making it worse. And then we use garlic oil. It's very simple. I, I press a few cloves of garlic. I take double the amount of uh, 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 olive oil. I let it sit half an hour and then I can dip a little cotton swab into that and put it into the ear and they can sleep with that and uh, that will usually take it. But the bottom line is what you do from the inside. Stay out of the sugar, stay out of the gluten and dairy and your child will probably um, be well within a few days. Also, echinacea has worked really great. And echinacea you can buy in any, any health food store too, and you give a few drops to your child as they go through this. Uh, my brother's uh, son came with the full blast ear infection a few years ago, and he's always had antibiotic every time and they keep coming back because it never really been healed because he still was on dairy and gluten. So coming to visit us, all of that was gone. I gave him echinacea and the, um, the garlic oil and it was gone in two days. That usually will take it with a lot of fluid, the baths, the fluids, rest. And instead of all the ice cream that most of us were brought up on with all the sugar, we stay out of sugar the days that they have a cold because viruses love sugar. And of course, a ton of love.